Hello everyone, this is Saeed again and today we will try to create these drops that you see here in this loss material. It's totally procedural so you don't need any particle systems to create it. I've been uh, trying to apply it on many uh, kinds of uh, materials. I've created it uh, on the sleeve that you see here. It's totally procedural, no need to use particles. I've uh, tried it also on this bottle, as you can see here. You can actually grab it on Gumroad. You can find the link in the description and you can use it on your materials. So let's start and see how we can do this, uh, these drops here on Blender. So yeah, so let's start. Actually, I've grabbed this uh, plant model on uh, BlendSwap. It's pretty good source to uh, to have some free models that you can use on your scenes. So anyway, let's start. I will just delete the material for uh, for this plane. It's actually a plane that I've applied this material on it. I will just delete it for now. Or yeah, I will delete it and i will add a new material to demonstrate how i did the uh the drops on it i will uh switch to local view and i will switch to shading Oops. yeah shading what i will do is uh let me just make this window bigger yeah i will delete this principal shader i will add a glass bsdf <coughs> plug it into the surface switch here into uh, material preview or look dev mode zoom in a bit so the next thing we're gonna do is add in a color wrap and a bump node like that color into the height and normal into the normal next thing is i will add a mesh grave texture plug the factor into the factor and click ctrl t here you have to uh, have the node wrangler add-on enabled so you will not have problems with it and I will plug object, the object into the vector of the mapping. As you can see here, it started showing up on our screen. All we, what we have to do is tweak it uh, more to have our desired shape. You can use Control Shift and click on the color ramp to see how our Musgrave texture is reacting with the uh, with our material. You can play around. Uh, yeah, before that, you have to switch here. I mean, you can leave it here on multifractal, but in my case, I've used rigid multifractal. And to have more control of it, you will have to tweak here with the color ramp, as you can see here. And uh, crank up the scale a bit to have more and many uh, drops on your material. After that, what you have to do is click shift control. Control and shift and click on the glass BSDF to have it uh, plugged in into the surface. As you can see here, started having our material really easily, uh, the drops on our material. You can switch into the uh, rendered mode. As you can see here, these guys are started showing up on our glass. You can play around uh, more with scale till you have your desired shape. It's pretty easy to set up, and you can uh, to have it to have or to make it look more realistic. You can play around with the roughness of our glass material to simulate a cold uh, morning in the winter. So, as you can see here, if we bump up a bit the roughness, we can start seeing that how glass is reacting with the 
with the overall scene. When we switch back to our scene, as you can see, it's very uh, basic scene. Just a uh, cube here and some glass material using planes. When we switch back to the uh, the camera, our camera using numpad zero, you can have a better look and uh, try to tweak more the values here. You can crank them, crank them up till you have your desired uh, shape. It's really easy way to do it. You can try it on many other uh, many other uh, objects and materials. As I said, you can have it for free in the link in the description. So, <laughs> I tried also to apply the same material here, uh, uh, here on this bottle. It's basically the same. Just try to, uh, I've tried to tweak the, the values of the scale and here I've tweaked also the position of these on the color ramp. So, it's the same thing. I've also tried to apply it here on the leaf, which is a bit different because we have here a base color uh, map. So we have to use principal BSDF. You can use glass BSDF, but here we have more uh, settings to play with on the principal. So what I've done here is I've plugged the output of the color ramp into these channels of or these settings on the principal. PSDF applied it into spectator roughness, transmission, and transmission roughness to give us these uh, reflections on the drops, as you can see here. So it's very important to plug them. So if you don't, you will have a non-glossy uh, or rough, uh, rough drops on your material. So you can also, if you want to change the color of the drops. You can add in a mix RGB here and try to change this color on the mix RGB. So just try to, yeah, before doing that, you have also to plug the output of the color ramp into the factor of the mix RGB so that it treats the drops as a mask so it masks the drops from the leaf all right so it's the way to do it if you want to change the colors of the drops as you can see here you can make them red I don't know depends on your on the way you want to uh, your drops look you can set it here into hue or overlay to give it the same material as the leaves if it's the same thing as plugging it directly here and playing around with the or plug in the output of the color ramp that we have into the other channels like uh, specular roughness and transmission so it's the way how to use this uh, how to make drops procedurally on your materials so that's it guys for this tutorial i hope that you've learned something in this video so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one inshallah